This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. And I'm Juan Gonzalez. Welcome to all of our listeners and viewers around the country and around the world. Well, Juan, before we move on to the tax bill and speak with Heather McGee of Demos, what about this news, uh, this um, uh, double header here? Uh, you've got uh, Luis Gutierrez saying he's stepping down, and then you've got the news about Puerto Rico. Yeah, well, I, I think when it comes to the issue of uh, Gutierrez, this is, is a complete surprise. He was actually filing petitions uh, to run again for uh, uh, for Congress, and uh, and suddenly, within a day after filing those petitions, then has the annou an announcement that he is uh, resigning from Congress and that he won't run again. Uh, I mean, he'll serve out his term, but won't run again in 2018, and immediately then endorses Jesus Chuy Garcia uh, to be the, uh, the successor to, uh, to his seat. Uh, now, of course, by naming Garcia at the very last moment, is because petitions in Chicago to run for office have to be in very soon for a primary that's in March. So he basically precludes any one of the numerous other challengers that may have decided to run for the seat. At the same time, he takes Chuy Garcia out of a potential run for mayor of Chicago against Rahm Emanuel. A rematch. Uh, a rematch, right. Uh, in, uh, in 2019, Rahm Emanuel has already said he's going to run for a third term. Chuy Garcia was the leading candidate uh, to uh, to run against uh, Rahm Emanuel. So, but now— And he but, lost in a close race. And at the time, Laquan McDonald, the killing of the teenager and what the city was doing about it and covering up wasn't known. It came out right after right, the well, election. Well, that was the key, the key issue that— up perhaps allowed Rahm Emanuel to win. Had the Laquan McDonald tape come out before the runoff, uh, I, I have uh, major doubts as to whether Rahm Emanuel would have defeated Chuy Garcia. But now, the problem is both Chuy Garcia and Luis Gutierrez have a long history. They were part of the young Latino radicals who who joined the Harold Washington mayoral campaign. They both considered themselves sons of Harold Washington, but they have diverged in in, uh, in numerous ways, because Chuy Garcia has maintained, some would say, a more progressive politics. He backed Bernie Sanders for president, whereas Luis Gutierrez backed Hillary Clinton in the most recent election. But now they seem to have come back together, at least, and, and Chuy and accepting— And didn't Luis Gutierrez back well, around I mean, the— and, and Chuy accepting now uh, Luis's uh, support for him to replace him in his seat. And did Luis Gutierrez support Rahm Emanuel against Chuy Garcia? Yes. And in the mayoral race, uh, Luis Gutierrez did support Rahm Emanuel. Now, in fairness, as, uh, as, uh, as Chuy Garcia has said, uh, uh, Luis backed Rahm Emanuel before Chuy entered the race, because, as you remember, uh, it was the president of the teachers union in Chicago who was supposed to be running for mayor, but then when she got Karen sick, Lewis. Karen Lewis, uh, then Chuy Garcia came in at the last moment to replace him. By then, Luis Gutierrez had already endorsed Rahm Emanuel and, therefore, uh, decided not to switch. So this, in a sense, would be taking Chuy Garcia out of this rematch that he could very well win with Rahm Emanuel. Right, because Rahm Emanuel is not a popular person in, uh, in Chicago these days. Do you think Luis Gutierrez might run for governor of Puerto Rico? I doubt it. I don't think that the people of Puerto Rico, as much as Luis is a Puerto Rican and uh, and has is identified with the island, he's still considered a U.S. Puerto Rican. And I, I find it hard to believe that the people of Puerto Rico would decide they can't. They don't have anybody on their island who could be governor uh, except someone who comes from uh, Chicago. He said he wouldn't run for governor of Illinois, but he did not rule out a run for the presidency of the United States. Right, and I think that's entirely possible, and it's, it's certainly that. Uh, uh, We've seen from uh, uh, other members of Congress who have run that they can at least raise key issues, even if they don't win. And I think that uh, Luis has already staked out his uh, his identification throughout the nation as the leading voice on immigration reform. And that, that that was to me the most surprising thing that he's worked for so many years to achieve comprehensive immigration reform, and now is resigning when the job is not done, <laughs> when the uh, the comprehensive immigration reform has not been won. So I. I uh, and he has a great deal of power in Congress. Yes, and I think he's very influential there. So it is a surprise. It's definitely a surprise, certainly for the national Latino community and for Chicago politics. And finally, Puerto Rico, this uh, 
new news that AP broke about a Florida company getting $30 million that they did not follow through on. This follows up on the Whitefish uh, company getting $300 million that the, the governor of Puerto Rico has now— um, uh, well, that the Puerto Rico has now canceled, the called Whitefish Company, for the hometown of Ryan Zinke, the interior secretary in Montana. Well, what a surprise. Uh, FEMA has failed once again. I, I think that anyone who has followed the history of FEMA through all these natural disasters and, and that have occurred in the United States knows that the agency, through both Democratic and Republican administrations, has been one that wastes money, uh, that provides contracts to friends. And, and uh, because here you have a company that was only formed a few days before it got a contract. How does that happen, with no track record, with no other federal contracts in the past, for you to be given a multi-million dollar contract to provide TARPs, which is not exactly uh, rocket science, uh, and uh, and they failed to do so. So it's just another one of the, of the sad chapters uh, in this uh, history of uh, not only of the federal government's failure to respond to natural uh, disasters, but also of the particular problems of Puerto Rico as well.